We all hear about the National Security Agency and government surveillance or hackers lurking in the shadows. For some people, the internet can seem like a scary and intimidating place. Do you want help feeling safer online? Do you want to be unafraid about making an online purchase? Would you like to interact with people from all around the world without feeling spied on by some unknown individuals? If you said yes to any of these, or you didn't say anything at all because you didn't want to look like a complete retard talking to yourself, then you are like many people who have suspicions or hesitations online. But here are some tips from the professionals, actually just me, on how to stay anonymous online. Let's get started. You can be my new thing. Okay, so first of all, the last video got over like 500 comments of you guys just saying what device you're watching my videos on. And as I was just scrolling down the comments, a lot of you guys, well, like over 70% of you guys said that you're watching my shitty videos on your cell phones or like mobile devices like an iPad, tablet, etc. I wouldn't even watch my own videos. Like if I didn't even own this channel and I just came across it, I would only watch like 20 seconds of a video and then I just report it if there's an option called use it upload shitty videos and should die in a hole. I definitely choose that option and I'm pretty sure some of you guys would choose that option as well, but it's all good, I guess. All right, so the first shout out goes to It's Crafted YT or YouTube, however you wanna say that. I don't, I don't it's, it's all good. <laughs> and he says he's watching the video on his PC. Yes, PC Master Race. All right, the next shout out goes to The Goose Gamer and he says that he's using his iPad too. That's awesome, man. I don't have an iPad, mostly because it costs way too much money and the money that you use to buy that, you could probably build a pretty decent PC, but it's all good, I guess. So a link to It's Crafted and The Goose Gamer's channel in the description. So if you would like to get a shout out in my next video, all you need to do is just like the video, be active and answer the question of the day, which is where do you live? Not like your address or anything like that. Just put your country like United States, Canada, wherever you live, I'll choose two people in my next video and read out their comment in the beginning of the video. So now, let's get into the video. Alright, so coming at number 5, we got Going Incognito. This is perhaps one of the most basic privacy options that just about anyone can take advantage of. The top 4 most popular browsers which are Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, wait, what? Who still uses Internet Explorer? Yo, that's tragic. Oh my god. <laughs> Mozilla Firefox and Safari have a private browsing mode, which can be found in their respective settings menus. With private browsing enabled, your browser will not store cookies or internet history on your computer. This has very limited uses and is perhaps really only effective at hiding your browsing history from your significant other, siblings, or parents. Private browsing does not securely hide your identity or browsing activities beyond your local machine as your IP can still be tracked. Coming in at number 4, we got alternative browsers. While Google Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer, okay, why is Internet Explorer still on this list? Nobody uses it anymore. Are popular, they're not as secure as they have the potential to be. If you would like a more guarded browsing experience that has a more earnest approach to secure web browsing, consider trying out browsers such as Dubol or Komodo Dragon. However, do bear in mind that the additional security methods are fairly limited and will do little to protect your overall privacy on their own. Additionally, you can probably get an equally secure service by disabling third-party cookies and by blocking all location data in your regular browser settings and installing various privacy extensions and plugins such as Ghostery or Mailvelope. Alright, so coming at number 3, we got Tor Browser. Tor is a modified Mozilla Firefox browser that enhances your security by giving you a new IP address each time you open up a new instance. Don't worry, this new IP address does not change your current one for good. It simply temporarily changes your original IP to a different one, so your original IP cannot be tracked during the time that you are using Tor. When using the Tor Browser, it is very difficult for websites or individuals to track your online activity and location. However, while Tor is quite effective at protecting your online privacy, it can be slow, complicated, and restricting. It's also worth noting that while the network can and has been used for good, it has also been used for illicit purposes, which I won't list. Oh, and one last tip for using Tor Browser, try not to put your browser in full screen or maximize it to the size of your monitor as it helps websites determine the resolution of your screen, which can then be used to track you. So keep it as a default window or if that's bothering you, then maximize it to your liking, but make sure it's not filling up the whole screen. Diamond, 
Coming at number two, we got VPN extensions. So if you do not feel like downloading a completely new browser, then you have the option of getting a VPN extension for your current browser. So pretty much virtual private network extensions or VPN extensions for short are one of the best ways to protect your privacy online. So this extension is kind of like Tor browser in your regular browser and it just temporarily changes your original IP to a different IP for the duration of time that the VPN extension is enabled. Keep in mind that some free VPN extensions have limited amount of IP locations or time timers which can only use it for a certain amount of time and they can sometimes be restricting and slow. If you want the maximum amount of privacy, consider purchasing a paid VPN extension or one that has monthly subscriptions because they usually include very fast download and upload speeds, unlimited IP locations, no restrictions and they are guaranteed to not leak your information to third party companies. Okay, coming at number one, we got VPNs. You may be asking, what's the difference between a VPN extension and a regular VPN? Well, a virtual private network, or VPN for short, is probably the most effective way to protect your privacy online. A VPN essentially hides your IP address, just like a regular VPN extension, but also your whole computer, not just your web browser's IP. It can also change your IP in programs such as Skype, TeamSpeak, and your browser, of course. It also hides your unique online identifier, usually called a globally unique identifier, or GUID, or a universally unique identifier or UUID which is a unique number given to all devices which is then used to identify them and finally a VPN also runs all your online data via a secure and encrypted virtual tunnel which can keep websites from tracking your online activity or even knowing which country you're browsing from these days there are many VPNs to choose from including hotspot shield tor guard cyber ghost and hide my ass are some of the more popular ones that are currently available most of them require a small monthly subscription fee and they don't all provide the same same list of features so it's worth shopping around for a VPN that suits you so that has been my top five tips on how to stay anonymous hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I'll be making videos on top five free VPNs and web browsers soon so stay tuned for those videos if you have any other top five lists I should do just leave a comment and I may do them in the future don't forget to check out my latest top five video which was top five Netflix alternatives a link will be on the screen and in the description that's all for now hopefully you can now use these tips and keep your privacy secured while browsing the web Jamal Prack out peace hey Hey you, yes you, the one looking at the screen, did you enjoy this video? Heh, <laughs> who am I kidding, of course you did. Before you click off this video, don't forget to leave a comment and hit that like button down below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button too, it takes less than a second. Oh, and before I forget, for my special mobile viewers, head over to my YouTube channel page and click the bell beside my name, so you'll be the first one to know when I upload a new video. Hey, don't be shy, you've got nothing to lose. Well, I hope to see you in my next video.